Well, in a very shocking tweet, okay, <laughs> Oscar de la Hoya has publicly ducked Conor McGregor, a UFC fighter, saying that, for the record, McGregor, I never challenged you. I was just asked a question and simply spoke the truth. <laughs> I mean, wasn't it the same? Wasn't it the same? This same guy that was asked, you know, about McGregor about McGregor uh, fight, and he said, he, you know, he would stop McGregor in two rounds. And Connor, you know, being an Irish guy, was, was very, very like he's like he is he's, 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 he's like a person that like a guy that is not not scared of anyone. He is ready to fight anyone, you know, as cocky as he is. Yet I like his courage though. He came out and said, listen, you know, I accept. <laughs> and now, Oscar the Lawyer is publicly ducking him. Why do you think he's so, bro? Uh, like you well, um, I say, number one, Oscar the Lawyer is too old to fight. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah? And number two, I'm not gonna look at myself like number two. I'm not gonna even want to see Oscar Gloria get into that kind of thing to put himself to put himself in a funny dilemma where he might not, you know, two things. And I love what he said there. He said I did not, and this is the thing there now. Yeah, me personally, based on what he said when he said I didn't actually call you out, I was asked the question. And I replied, yeah. I mean, we can all take it and you're like, oh yeah, you, but you said you can do this and that and that and that, yeah. But we all know one thing: when we all talking, it's not sweet for us to say anything. But when it comes to the reality of it, you know, things are where it is. And that's why sometimes when we're being asked questions, people expect you to say certain things, and then when you say it, it comes out again in another kind of like different form and stuff like that and that. And that. He was asked the question, he said he would have done it, even as of now, everybody, everyone, every fighter, when asked, well, when asked some sign question, everyone talks and praise themselves and do everything and stuff like that. But <laughs> am I going to say it's a duck in a way? Yes, it is. In a way, he was just asked the question anyway. So whatever the outcome comes of it, it is what it is. The truth is this, if he accepts it, and then pull out of injury and then claim one thing or the other and that. No one will say anything. But again, like I said, is he a dog? I don't know. But obviously, we can decide to time it, you know, any other one to time it. So I'm just going to leave it there. But for me, he's too old to fight again. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'll leave it there. All right, bro. Um, Tajak, we'll take on this. Um, Asuka De La Hoya, everybody knows. Uh, He's all. Um, he's he's a man that just wants the publicity. I'm not too. Well, I was never too keen on him saying that, anyways, because we all know he was probably either joking around and didn't really take it serious. I mean, against against a against a fighter like uh, like Conor McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor has been boxing for long, but he does have some of the fundamentals down because he is a UFC fighter, and UFC fighters are trained to really hit that chin and knock out um, their opponents. And Conor McGregor does hit hard. So, you know, I'm pretty sure um, he, he, knew what he, he knew what he was saying when he said, oh, I was just kidding around, or whatever he said to Conor McGregor, because he knows what would happen if he actually fought Conor McGregor. It, it, would, uh, it, would, it, would, um, it would end badly for him. Um, Oscar De La Hoya, I don't remember him having that much of a chin either. So I think um, him saying, it, requesting that he uh, he back off uh, for Conor McGregor is a very good idea because um, he doesn't know what's really going to happen to him. And that's where I'm going to end it. Well, thanks, brother. But I think Oscar De La Hoya likes to talk to he likes to talk too much, bro. We all know he he, he was a great fighter. No doubt about that. But if he's afraid of coming back to fight a UFC fighter, an enemy fighter, you know, it means Floyd Mayweather, okay, at this current age, still beats 
uh, uh, um, uh, Magago, you know, is he, he was still beat him. So, Oscar, oh yeah, we all know he was, of, of course, a deadly puncher, you know, a great fighter. This guy's achieved a lot of, he's a legend, okay? If a legend like this cannot get himself in champion in seven marks, you know, and fight to fight a UFC fighter who he said he will gladly knock out in two rounds, you know? So what's so wrong about this? Why the change of tone? Like, he, not, maybe he's seen, the, he's seen the score and said, wow, that's guy might actually beat me. And if he beats me, people are going to look down on me in a way like that. And he doesn't want the uh, uh, embarrassment. <laughs> You know, maybe that's the reason why, man. That this is a, this is a, this is pure ducking for me, bro. Pure ducking. This is a pure duck, man. Anyway, guys, like the video, share, subscribe, and for those who are watching right now, you know what it is. You know what it is. We we'll give you guys nothing but extraordinary bangers. Stay blessed.